Hello guys, in this video we are going to see some examples with the structure logging model which is introduced in Spark for expression. In previous version all the logs for the Spark job we have loaded in the run structure model. We cannot extract as our wish. But in Spark 4x, they are loading all the data in the JSON format. So whenever required, we can extract the data from the JSON from the log path. That's the beauty they have introduced in Spark 4x version. Let's see some example to understand better on this. So now I'm going to import the Spark session and creating the Spark variable. And I'm creating one data frame. And this data frame has three columns, name, daily salary and month. Let's see the data frame output using show command. So here we can see the output. So name, daily salary and month. I just run it. Some action I just passed dot show. So it will be stored the logs in the backend. Now we are going to see the log wherever the Spark job is stored as a JSON. That's we are going to see that driver and Spark context behavior. Now I'm trying to read the logs using Spark.read.json and this is the path I just storing all the logs for my Spark job. So here the logs path is available. Let's see the present schema references then we can go forward. So here the job is executor and you can see all the context references. There are many logs information they have stored in the key value pair. But we are going to extract only few of the references for our practice. So logs field I am select only timestamp, level, logger and messages. These four I am trying to extract from here. Now let's filter the output context.executor id as a driver. So here context of executor id. This is I am trying to filter as a driver. This is I am trying to do it in this command. Let's see the output. So for this particular job, this is the detail for the driver program, how the driver is executed. It has executed with the process local module and the executed driver references we can see as a log. Same like for the same job, I want to see the Spark context references. I just using with the logger as a Spark context. This filter I am trying to apply on the log field and extract the output. So this is the Spark context details for this particular job. Here the Spark context is going to be stored and all the references from the Spark context I can extract at runtime. So this is the way we can extract our log from the given JSON and see the proper responses hereafter. That's a beauty from Spark for expression. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please provide your valuable feedbacks in comments.